Hi, welcome to Shop Stop. We want to spend a little bit of time talking about AC tools and uh, polarity. Okay, what is polarity? You've got a plug and it's got two prongs, for example, and you've got a plug that's got three prongs, for example, and their derm the polarity is determined by which one is the neutral and which one is the hot. So you want to make sure that when you're plugging stuff in that with, with your plugs as they match like this, that it'll only go into the outlet in one way. Correct, because one of these spades is wider than the other one, and if, if you go to your recept, well, one of the slots is larger than the other slot, and that will only let it go in one way, and that this larger slot is your neutral. And so the important thing to remember is, is when you're working on stuff, that we're always going to switch the, the, the hot line off, not the neutral. Right. So let's say that, that this cord got damaged and was cut right here and the, the plug was gone, how could we determine whether or not this was, which was neutral and which was hot on this? If you look at the cord, it has ribs on one side and smooth on the other. That would determine that the rib side is the neutral side and the non-rib side, the smooth side, is what we'd call the hot side. So then you could reattach a new plug to it. Yeah, and uh, so these are set like that. If you've got the plug with the ground on it, then it's only going to go into the outlet one way and then the ground uh, plug is going to dictate which one goes into the neutral slot. So you've got three prongs and two prongs and on, you'll notice on some of your power tools they'll have a three prong or a two prong and the two prongs can only go on what we call a double insulated tool. And the double insulated tool is signified by that double square right there. If your tool has that, that means it's double insulated. So there's a few tips on polarity and how tools are wired. We'll see you next week on Chop Stop. Mm -hmm.